Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on C programming. In this session, I shall discuss about the comma operator, size of and the ternary operator. So let me first start with the comma operator. The comma operator can be used to link the related expressions together. So normally when we are writing a particular statement, like suppose if I am taking a variable as sum. So what value gets stored here in this particular variable sum? We have initialized 10 to x, okay, 5 to y. Finally, we have one more expression x plus y. So, how does this comma operator works? The comma operator normally is evaluated from left to right. This one you have to remember. Left to right is the associativity for the comma operator. All the expressions that are mentioned in this statement are evaluated from left to right and the value of the rightmost expression, remember this one, and the value of the rightmost expression is the value for the combined expression. This statement is actually assigning the value 10 to x, 5 to y, finally 10 plus 5, 15. To what? To the variable sum. So what is that you have observed? The expressions are evaluated from left to right. All the expressions from left to right are evaluated. Finally, whatever is the rightmost expression. So in this, you can see here 1, 2, 3. Three expressions are there and this one is the rightmost expression. So whatever is the rightmost expression, the that expression is evaluated and the value of that particular expression is assigned to the variable. Let me give one more simple example. Suppose if I am writing a uh, variable as a, a equal to x equal to 2 comma x plus 4. Now this is simpler just two expressions are there as i said what does the comma operator do first this expression is evaluated in this expression only what is done a value 2 is assigned to x then comes what the next expression in the next expression you have x plus 4 so x is 2 here 2 plus 4 6 so now 6 is assigned to the variable a let me take one more example so suppose you have a variable sum wherein i am just writing more than three or four expressions some simply like this a equal to 2 b equal to 4 c equal to 10 okay then finally i am writing a plus b plus c so which is the rightmost expression here this one but to get the value for the rightmost expression all the previous expressions has to get evaluated that is how the comma operator works it is its associativity is from left to right so, a equal to 2, b equal to 4, c equal to 10, all these statements get executed and finally whatever is the rightmost expression that also gets executed and its value whatever is obtained from this 2 plus 4 plus 10, 16, so the value sum is 16 here. Two points you need to remember about the comma operator. The comma operator has the least precedence. Comma operator's associativity is from left to right. So this is how the comma operator works. But comma in C programming is also used as a separator. So here the functionality is different. Normally when you are initializing more than one variable, int m equal to 10, comma a equal to 20, comma c equal to 30. So you are using what here? The comma operators. And some and also we are using in the printf statement this comma operators. Like suppose if you are writing percentage d percentage d, you can x comma y comma z. So here the comma operator acts as a separator. So hope you got to know here that in C programming we use comma as a operator as well as a separator. Here I am going to give the demo for the comma operator so in the comma operator this is the statement i have used in the program and also i have given the explanation a equal to 2 b equal to 4 c equal to 10 comma a plus b plus c so this is the statement used the rightmost expression gets evaluated a is 2 b is 4 and c is 10 so the total value is coming to 16 and we want to store this value 16 into a variable sum and we are printing the value for sum so that is why in the output you can check here you got sum equal to 16 we have another operator size of operator so the size of operator you are going to use the word keyword itself like this size of we say the size of operator as a compile time operator and when used with an operand it returns the 
number of bytes the operand occupies so what exactly this operand can be this operand can be a variable this operand can be a constant it can be a data type how do you use this particular operator in the program suppose if you are having a variable like sum you have declared it as int sum you want to uh, we know that integer occupies 2 bytes or 4 bytes depending on the compiler so exactly if you want to know how many bytes this particular variable sum occupies it is an integer only so you can write like this in the program you can make use of this statement m equal to size of sum fine suppose if you are if you have declared one more variable float price you want to find how many bytes this particular variable float occupies then you can assign it to some variable size of price so it will so the, here you can see this is a variable this is a variable this is what i am trying to tell you here it can be whatever you are writing it can be a variable it can be a constant or it can be a data type also even you can write down printf percentage d size of int okay like this so that you will come to know what is the size that is occupied by this data type int you can try to find out how many bytes this data type float occupies size of char so use these statements like these statements in the program run the program and try to see what output will you get for these kind of printf statements so what exactly this size of operator is doing it is trying to return the number of bytes a particular operand occupies so this is all about the size of operator whatever explanation i gave for the size of operator the same thing i am going to demonstrate here the size of operator gives the value for the size that is occupied by the different data types or even you can check the size of the variable that you are using in the program so here what i have done is i wanted to check the size for int float double and long double and i want to store these values into variables like m n p and q so m will be storing how much size the integer data type occupies n will store how much size the p will store how much size the double data type occupies and q will store how much size the long double data type occupies and also just i, I wanted to tell you suppose if you are declaring a variable here in this example i have declared a variable sum and it is of double data type let us see how much data type this sum variable holds so for that you are going to use printf statement because you want to print the value for m you want to print the value for n you want to print the value for p and you want to print the value for q also since you want to check how much size this sum variable occupies directly you are writing here you may assign this size of sum to some other variable or you can print directly also printf percentage d size of is the operator see this is the operator which is giving you the size of the data types and the variables so here once you execute m value m is what you are going to check the size of the integer you can see it is showing m value in the output it is showing m equal to 4 that means it occupies 4 bytes here here n will store the size of float so float is also 4 bytes here normally it depends on the compiler now here this compiler is giving the value as 4 both for integer and the floating double okay it gets stored in p so p value you can see it is 8 bytes and long double i am storing it in the variable q so once i execute in the output i am getting q equal to 16 and here the last one is i want to check the value for the variable sum sum i have declared as double that is why you can see here the last value this 8 this a 8 is giving you the value for what this sum variable and so this is how the size of operator works here i shall be discussing on ternary operator or it is also called as conditional operator so this ternary operator or conditional operator is always having a pair of symbols question mark and colon so these two symbols are used here and how do you include these symbols in the ternary operator is this is the syntax you are writing one expression then followed by question mark expression 2 colon and expression 3 so you can see here three expressions are there and these three expressions are separated by these two operators one is question mark and another is colon so how does it work suppose whatever expression you are writing here expression 1 suppose if i am writing a greater than b is my expression 1 okay and then i am writing the question mark then here i will write a in expression 2 i am just writing what the variable a 
colon and in expression 3 I have only one variable b and already I am assuming some values for a and b. Let me assume a value as 10 and b as 15. Okay, these are the two values that we have initialized. And this complete statement I am assigning it to another variable x. Fine. Now what value this x will hold? x is assigned with this expression and this expression is having what completely the ternary operator so the ternary operator gets evaluated like this first let me substitute the value a is 10 10 greater than 15 question mark a is 10 b is 15 so how this ternary operator works is first thing is expression 1 is evaluated if this expression 1 is true then expression 2 is evaluated and the result of this expression 2 becomes the value to the variable that is assigned towards the left hand side. This is the format of writing expression 1 is evaluated. Now if expression 1 is true then expression 2 is executed. Okay, This expression 3 is not executed only. Suppose if expression 1 is false then this expression 2 is not executed only this expression 3 is executed. So either expression 2 gets executed or expression 3 gets executed. So similarly you can look here for this example. Now we are checking this condition expression 1 is checked here. In this case 10 greater than 15 the condition is false. The condition is false then this is your expression 3. So the value 15 gets assigned to x. In case if this expression is true, suppose if we had written 15 greater than 10, if the condition is true, that time the value that is mentioned here in the expression 2, here it is 10, that value gets assigned to the variable x. So one more example, let me just write down like this. So this is my expression 1. So in the expression 1, normally a condition is mentioned and then followed by what expression 2, then expression 3. In expression 2, I am writing one printf statement, printf, then I will put a colon and then write down the expression 3. So, this particular statement will work like this. This condition is checked if age greater than or equal to 15. If the user enters the age as, suppose if the user enters the age as 20, then 20 greater than or equal to 18. The condition is true here. If the condition is true, this statement will get executed. That is expression 2. Suppose if the user is entering a value as 15 for the age, so 15 greater than or equal to 18, condition is false. If, if the condition is false, then this particular statement will get executed. That means the expression 3. So either this or this will get executed. This is how the conditional operator or the ternary operator works. So the explanation what I gave for the ternary operator or the conditional operator, the same thing I am demonstrating here. This was the statement that I had explained. A greater than B, A followed by colon B. So here you can check in the output you are getting as 15. Hope you find this session useful. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye and take care.